one? Because I kind of respect it. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's, 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 it's nice to meet you, sir. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we, we, we're, we're Gatlians, but... Uh... Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big name politician and we're out there, you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Wow, that, that, that's really helpful. You're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Feel free to stay as long as you'd like. You can visit the human haven yourself, by the way. We don't know exactly what makes humans comfortable, but I hope you like how we've set things up. Oh, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. I'm serious. No more bounties until you get a jetpack from Mr. Keep. Welcome to Pepperoni the Palace. I'm Pete the Pepperoni Salesman, and we are we today we have a great special. Get over here, come on. Hey, you 
you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Hey, customer, you're ugly. Job, what's wrong with you? Oh, great choice. Can I clock out early? No, why? What are you, the cops? I don't owe you an explanation. Yes, you do. I'm your father and your boss. I'd like it better if you were the cops. <laughs> ah, pleasure doing business with you. I apologize for how messy it is in here. It was Jorb's job to clean it. I gave him a comb and a toothbrush. You know, Jorb, I don't think you're very nice to me. Oh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Well, it's not. I think you'll be happy with that. No shame in looking. All right, you're all set. May it fill your days with wonder. There's plenty here. Great! Now get out of here. Godspeed on your journey. Jesus! How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea.
funny uh, this, but you're uh, laughing. Uh, it doesn't feel like uh, you're actually finding this funny. You just now have sex with you. Him. There, how about some uh, food? I mean, I, I want a pizza now! I want it right now! Do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever! I need it instantaneous! And I know we have to wait for that! Why are you still delivering pizzas by foot? Just zap them to me! There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now! Portal door, warp base, anything! I don't care! Just get it to me right now! Wait... Never mind, I'm not hungry, bye! Ah, you're back, you're back. Hey, come on through, come right on through. I'm gonna, get a put, I'm gonna put the pal valve Back. Hey, yeah, my leg's still very broken.
But that, that's not my fault. That was on you that you were so easy to kill. It's you and me, bounty hunter.
You know, it makes me so happy every time you walk by me. I just have to tell you. Don't fucking look at me. Keep moving. You sure you're not tired? Show me what's in your car. Oh, you look like you're hungry for some food. Wink, wink. I can help. Wink, wink, wink. All right. and calling you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now and buy my illegal shit! What's that guy yelling about? Illegal stuff? I is he talking to us? Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? Wait, hold, hold, hold the phone. What the fuck? You sell alien cum? I no, it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum, and we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me, but they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographic. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So. Okay, you saunter away. I wasn't saying nothing. said, no, 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 this can't be happening to me. Ah, ah. And he went on like that for a while. And then the next, the next day, he went on the news and he said he's gonna stop the geriatrics from being so horny. We're here, we're horny, and we're old. Get over it. Discerning customer, would you be interested in some quote unquote food? Hey, we don't have anything. Oh, okay. We got eggs. Out. Sold that. Oh, you bought the Thanks for that much needed touch. Hey, you look hungry. Hungry for some uh, deals? Am I right?
So this is your bedroom, huh? Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Oh, uh -oh. oh, check out that landing! God damn! Wait a second, get out of here! Hold, oh, uh -oh. ever again. Hi everyone, this is uh, this is the bad TV show. It's a TV show that's not good. Um, the whole idea here is that just nothing good. Whoops! Happens. All right, well, I'm the main character. Uh, maybe let's Ubus. try that again. It's P O O B U S. Not a good name. Nice. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus! Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? No, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Tweeg. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. 
Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Klug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell in love and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Dispatch 146, you have a 1052 double VOA call at the Dickinson Farm. I'm repeating, dispatch 146, you have a double VOA 1052 call at the Dickinson Farm. Court conducting the auction out here for the Gleason State Bank of the secured party here on the Roy Anderson property. Harvey Woodward, of course, representing the home office out of Merrill. He's working here with me today, and Colonel Pete Van Ryan selling the auction. If it's either one of us, we'll roll along as rapidly as we can. All of here today without reservations, the highest bid regardless of price, ordered by the clerks of the secured party. That includes all machinery, cattle, and the real estate. 